the first approach to transfer pricing. This is a continuation of the last transfer pricing discussion we had. The first approach could be to transfer the item internally at the market price. What does that mean? If the milk division in Amul is selling the product at 30 rupees to the external customer, it will sell it to the internal customer, that is the ice cream division, at 30. The second approach could be to factor in all the cost savings and additional expenses incurred and then determine the transaction price. You could also think of the opportunity cost approach when it comes to transfer pricing. Now, how does that work? When you are selling it to an external customer, you are maybe say earning a contribution of four and because there is a heavy external demand, you would miss out on an opportunity to satisfy the external demand if you are transferring the product internally. So when you are deciding the appropriate transfer price from the milk division to the ice cream division, ideally what you should do is you should consider the variable cost of the item transfer that has to be recovered anyway. And at the same time, you should also think about making good the loss of that particular opportunity which you have lost. Now, what does that mean? So, if you are transferring it internally, you have lost out on an opportunity to sell outside and make a profit of 4 rupees per unit. So, that loss which you sustain when you were selling to an outsider, you can recover that when you are fixing the transfer price for your internal department. So it could be variable cost plus the opportunity cost and your transfer price would be determined accordingly. One very important principle that you need to keep in mind is that when you are transferring material from one department to another, the variable cost incurred has to be recovered and along with that the opportunity cost on any other elements that you want to consider. So keep this thing in mind when you are looking at the determination of transfer price you have to make sure that the variable cost is recovered.